Hi, I'm Adam Vale. I'm a specialist in Freeman's Fine Art Department. Although regarded as one of Norway's most important painters of the 19th and early 20th century, Fritz Tallow is perhaps better known for his depictions of the landscapes and waterways of northern and northwestern France. Following his studies, first in Copenhagen, then in Karlsruhe, Germany for a period, he finds himself by the 1870s in France, amid this rich confluence of circumstances. In Paris, within this thriving expatriate community, he would have been exposed to the legacy of mid-century realism, of naturalism, of the tenets of plein air painting, and most vitally, I think, of Impressionism. Here, viewers are transported to Canal Side under a cobalt-colored, cloud-filled sky. The water itself recedes gently into the middle ground of the composition. Trees at left, vernacular architecture at right, form a parenthesis around the canal itself, its water mirror-like in its reflection. As he does in the best of his paintings, he demonstrates a sensitivity to the landscape, but also, as we can see in the two figures in the horse cart, a sensitivity to the people who inhabited it and forged a livelihood because of it. In doing so, too, he recalls the lessons of mid-century realism, of naturalism, which espoused a philosophy to paint accurately, to paint what you see, but also in its emphasis and its celebration on light and color and atmosphere, on many of the same elements that preoccupied the Impressionists.